Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of Doc Training Web Series. Today I'll be demonstrating on how to add a live chart to SharePoint with Excel Web Access Web Part. The Excel Web Access Web Part, which is available for Office 365, E3, and E6 subscriptions, is used to display live Excel charts on a wiki or a web part page. You can display all or just a part of an Excel sheet in this web part. So in this demo, I'm going to show you how to use the Excel Web Access Web Part. So before that, let's go and uh, work on the Excel data that you want to import. So I have one, it's a sales data, right? So what I'm trying to achieve here is, let's say I have a sales portal, right? And now our sales department site requires a graph, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Excel web access web part. I'm gonna generate a chart which is gonna show the profit sales and the profits of an organization. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this Excel data. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a pivot table and then I'm gonna add a graph connected to the new pivot table. And then I'm gonna save the spreadsheet to the SharePoint library or I'm just gonna drop it to one of the document libraries of the sales site. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new Excel web access web part to the home page and then connect this Excel which is uploaded into the document library to the SharePoint web part and then I can get my data. So here as you see I have a date, region, product, category, I have product, the customer name, sales, cost, future cost, profit, pro future profit and the salesperson data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a pivot table right so select this right and then i can add it to a new worksheet right here you go now i need to add the details what i need so i'm going to drop profits to values i'm just gonna keep it as sum i'm just gonna call it profits right and then next one is sales All right, so I have these, and now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna select the product category. So I just select on the sale tab, and just gonna hit on the product category. There you go, so now I have the details here. Now what I'm gonna do is, obviously, insert a chart, right? Based on this data, let's go with the 3D chart, right? There you go, so now I have it here, perfect shows the categories, they have the profit and sale data, the values, right? And it's gonna categorize based on the product category. So furniture, grocery, stationery, right? Yeah, I almost forgot, I just forgot to put the currency. So yeah, so just format the type of currency that you require, right? All right, so now, Let's click on this chart. Now what do you see here? The name of the chart is chart two. This is very important that you need to remember the name of the chart is because you're gonna import this Excel to the Excel web part, right? So it's very important that you remember the name of the chart. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this. I'm just gonna drop it for now. my desktop and then I go to my document library so now I have I'm, I'm gonna upload it on my sales portal so I'm just gonna drag this file Oops. okay so perfect so now I have this Excel data uploaded to documents share documents folder under my sales portal right now the next thing what I need to do is Go back to my SharePoint page. Now, let's say this is my sales portal, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit on the page button and then click on edit. Just gonna add a new web part, right? So I select the empty space here. I can take out whatever I don't want to. So yeah, let's take this out. And then I'm gonna click on insert. And click on 
web part and then scroll down to business data the third option and then you can find excel web access click on add button okay so now you have the excel web access web part right now what you need to do is you need to upload or you need to select the workbook right so the moment you click on open tool pane it's going to show up on the right hand side select the workbook let's go to the sales documents folder here you go so now i have the data here i'm just going to click on insert all right and now what's the next one and that's the name of the chart right so that's the named item so this is why i wanted to keep this is what i mentioned earlier you know do you have to keep in mind the name of the chart right and then select that and head on OK. All right, so now I have inserted the Excel or the sales chart to my web access web part, right? As you see here, you have some of the commands that shows up over here, the Excel functionalities, it shows up over here. Um, I know it's not gonna look nice, I'm just gonna hide this, right? So what I need to do is again, go back to my edit web part. And then what I need to do is select none for type of toolbar and then go back to appearance and then also disable the Chrome type. So it's none again. Also, some of them, you know, you might have the Excel file name as a title, so you can rename them anytime you want. So just put up sales over here and then I press OK. Perfect. So now I have disabled the, the menu over here. So you can also have the values, right? And I can also do some of the label filters and value filters, whatever I want. So that's an easy way to import your sales chart, right? So just have to work on a pivot table and then generate a chart and then put it on your SharePoint and then you have the chart hope later on your SharePoint page. Looks really nice, isn't it? I'm sure you can try it out for yourself as well. So that comes to an end to, for my SharePoint video. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Doc365, and I'll be coming up with more and more videos. So stay tuned, have a great day.